Hey all, good morning. Welcome to this talk today for Enhancing InfoWorks Models of Civil 3D. So we've been doing a little bit of a mini series here. So starting mainly in InfoWorks, but starting with InfoWorks, creating a model builder surface, grabbing some public data and creating a model and seeing how that data is pretty good that um, InfoWorks can create that, you know, that base model for you. And then we've been talking about a couple other ways to enhance it. So bringing in point cloud data, and if you want to create a surface on the point cloud, just use the imagery, you can use that for the point cloud data. And the other thing we did is we brought in a TIFF file. So just the, just the uh, aerial imagery and enhance the model build, that model builder Bing imagery, so to speak, with more accurate data. And today it's gonna be kind of part, part four-ish of what can I bring in from Civil 3D in InfoWorks? And there's a lot you can bring in from Civil 3D, but uh, main thing we're gonna look at today is surfaces. So we're gonna set up an EG conditions and a proposed conditions. And then we're gonna bring both those different scenarios in, and then we're gonna model based on that. All right, so jumping into Civil here first. Civil 3D, uh, two files here. So one file, this is my EG we're looking at right here. So this is just some points I've shot out behind this building. And a little bit more concept based than actually a real world scenario, but we, we have some pretty good surface area data we're working with. So if I go ahead and just grab the surface area, let's just take a look. So let's just take a look at the surface I'm working with. So we can just see this is the extent of the surface it goes down to this building right here. If I go ahead and grab it and go into object viewer, we can see this is a grassy hill that's sloping down towards that building. So that, those are our EG conditions. And if I go ahead and close out of this, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this into our model builder surface. So we're gonna crack InfoWorks open in a second, and we have a surface we created with model builder, and we're gonna take a look at that data, and then we're gonna bring this in to enhance it, so to speak, enhance our EG conditions. So a couple different ways we can bring things into InfoWorks. So we can bring in a DWG, Civil 3D DWG. We can bring in an IMX. And the last thing we can bring is an XML. So we're gonna bring in all three and just, just take a look at all three, how all three scenarios look. All right, so first thing I need to do is I'm just gonna do this in Civil. I'm gonna kick this data out. So I'm just gonna save my file first and then output tab, export to IMX. And we'll just call this EG. I'm going to save it, my downloads, and I'm sure I will replace it. And we just save the IMX. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to kick out an XML. So XML, very popular surface exchange format. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave everything. I only have a surface in this file. Service and points, InfoWorks is not going to read the points. So if we go ahead and say OK, and we'll call this EG2. So we have EG, XML, and then we have a EG F I IMX file. So go ahead and save this here. Now we've kicked both our data out. All right, so let's go ahead and let's just minimize this. And I'm gonna jump into InfoWorks. All right, so here is our existing model here from Model Builder. So we can see we have our road in here. This is our aerial imagery. And so what we're going to do is we're going to bring in surface data of this back region back here. So this is directly what's from Model Builder. And what we're going to do is we're going to enhance this with our accurate data, our survey is shot, or we have shot. So content right here, data sources. Now let's go ahead and let's bring in our data. So right here, this little white sheet with a plus button. Three different ways to bring this in. So first way we can bring in is, let's just stay in order here. Let's do that civil 3D DWG. And mm, all right, let's bring in that that entire DWG, the whole the whole nine yards of it. So it's gonna have that surface in those points. And notice right here we have our terrain says class file. There we go. We'll just right click and we'll configure it. Okay, we don't need to change anything, but we can just take a look at what our what our data is, the source, geolocation. See the coordinate system, the coordinate system, the models are consistent between and our source right here. So we close and refresh. Notice we have surfaces under the undercategorized folder. So we're gonna say yes, because we need to change that. And notice here's my surface right here. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this down and then hit the plus button, apply. 
and OK. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my view here from conceptual to engineering, just so we see our contour lines. And so we go ahead and we just take a look at this. We can see now we have this we have this more accurate surface data that we just brought in via a civil 3D model. All right, now let's go ahead and let's just remove this one now. And we could be working with proposals with this whole thing. We could be, but keep in mind, this we're just bringing it in three separate ways. So first way, we just did it, civil 3D model. All right, second way, let's bring in an IMX right here, Autodesk IMX. And we'll go to our downloads folder. And right here, UG IMX, we'll say open. Uh, that's IMX, configured, right click, configure you. And services to import in geolocation, source. We have all that as is. Let's say close and refresh. All right, same thing, uncategorized. We're going to drag it down, turn the light on, supply. Okay. And now we can see same exact service that came in our civil 3D data enhancing our model builder service. All right, third way, probably guess what you're going to see here. So, XML, we're going to be in an XML service. So, right click, remove. I'm just going to take that one out. And we could have turned it off too, as well, brought it to the uncategorized section. But just to keep it simple, we're just taking it out. All right, land XML, last one right here. EG, XML, right here. Open. Right click, we're going to configure you. And boom, we are going to go ahead and just grab close and refresh right here. Same thing, uncategorized. We're going to drag you down, turn you on. Okay, same thing. So three different ways in to bring services in from Civil 3D. So let, let's just let's just play around now. Let's say we have a proposed condition. So going back to Civil 3D, let me go ahead and just grab Civil 3D right here, and I'm I'm going to go into this master file now. Okay. So say we had some existing conditions, we bring those in. We create a proposal of that, and then we bring in our proposed conditions, whatever we're doing on this model. And so right here, I'm just going to go ahead and grab this tin surface right here. And this was created with creating optimization, one of those newer tools for Civil 3D. And so if I zoom in, I'm just going to zoom in on this back section over here. Let's say we want to create a parking lot addition or expand our parking lot. So I put it, we have a retaining wall here on this back side. We have a couple curb islands, curbs, and then we are connecting into the back side of the, there's a wraparound around the building and it's connecting in. And then this is our parking lot entrance. So mainly just focused on those, those EG points we shot and then manipulating that afterwards. All right, so let's bring this into InfoWorks now. And I'm gonna enclose this here. And I'm just gonna, let's see, let's export the IMX. I suppose it doesn't really matter. We have one of three ways we just learned. And we'll call this FG. And we'll just say, yeah, sure. Oh, come on. All right, FG made it, all right. So let's go ahead and let's just jump back into Inforks. We're gonna bring that in. So I have an existing proposal. So I'm just gonna jump to my proposed proposal. And we can see we have same thing here. It's just a copy of it, but we're, let's just, we're, gonna, we're playing around with that iterative process for existing proposed, and then we can enhance that proposed even more. All right, so right here, data sources, and we're gonna go ahead and grab this. We're gonna go ahead and grab our data sources, and then we're gonna bring in our IMX from the FG right here. FG IMX, open, and we're gonna right click, and we're gonna configure it. We're gonna leave it all as is. Say yes, we're gonna drag it down again. Turn you on, apply, okay. And now we have our composite proposed surface that's been brought in here. We can see we have our retaining wall brought in, a, brought in, I think it's called like a terrain theme on that wall there. But then we have our curbs, our curb islands and all that came in. So let's just pretend now, say you 
really went gung-ho with InfoWorks to really create a proposed model. I'm going to show you what I did. This took a little while to make. So we go to propose and we just go to master here. So let's think of this as like my completed or completed model at this point in time. All right, bouncing over to master here. Let's let this cook for a second. All right, so you can see I have a lot of imagery in here. And if things want to display. So, and that building should be coming in, but that's okay. All right. So, we can see here, this is our this is our model. So, this is our parking lot. Brought in some surface themes. Here's a vehicle I created with recap photo. Here's a retaining wall, curb island, some trees, some surface data. So, lots of different things we can bring in with InfoWorks to aggregate this data. And, and Civil 3D is a great baseline to get our existing services and our proposed services in. So thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this was helpful for understanding workflows from Civil 3D handoff to InfoWorks. It's a great conceptual visualization tool. So I encourage you to take a look at it if you get some time to play with things and maybe work it into your, we're working into your project. So have a great rest of your week.